What's one piece of advice, if you had to look at the camera and talk directly to the student, mm -hmm. that you would give to the next student who's like, mm -hmm. I want to be a celebrity makeup artist? Like, okay. like, how do I do it? Like, they're just nervous. Like, what are a few statements that you would like? I have a couple of pieces of advice that I can give. Oh, we need all that. Okay, okay. so you want camera? Yeah, you can okay. direct it to them. So, um, one thing that I would say is always do the job that you're hired for, not the job that you want. Because if you continue to do the job that you're hired for and you do that um, beyond anyone's expectation, you'll eventually get the job that you want. Um, and you'll, you're always going to be where you're supposed to be. Don't oversell yourself. Just do the job you were hired for. Um, that's one. The second one I would say is, because this is something that's really personal for me, um, as far as um, your light, always let your light shine and never diminish it for anybody. Um, don't water yourself down. If, you, if you're if you extra vibrant personality and, and you're super talented, don't water that down to make other people comfortable. Be you. Um, if they can't digest who you are, then they're just gonna have to choke. And that's, that's it. Uh -uh. <laughs> she said they're just gonna have to choke. They are. And you Let said it so choke. gracefully. Cause, I, Cause I'm genuine about that. I really do mean that they will have to choke and that's on them. Um, you, can't, you can't water yourself down for somebody else's comfort. And I, I struggle with that so much. Yeah. Um, being somebody who has like a very bubbly personality um, or somebody that people are drawn to. Um, there's there's a lot of people in general in any industry that are going to be threatened by your skill set, threatened by the way others love you, and you can't. I found myself um, feeling like I had to, like you know, shrink a little bit yeah. so that I didn't outshine other people. I can't worry about that because as I have to always ask myself, are you doing the job you were hired for? Yeah. And if you're doing that, then you're doing everything right. Continue to do that, and they can get rid of you. You, I, I. I pride myself on making sure that I am indisposable. Like you can't, you can't get rid of me because you need me. Yeah. I bring something to the table that you can't find anywhere. And as mad as you might be, that it might outshine what you got going on, you still need me. And I'll make sure that I do that job for you because you're gonna need me again. <laughs> And you're going to hire me again. Well, you know, I, I do need some makeup, but I can't afford your prices. Lord you don't Jesus. even know my prices. Let's pray for it. <laughs> Y'all, if you're a student, you know what I'm saying? We need a Sierra Fine Apple Goldman stipend on here. <laughs> <laughs> so on your YouTube series, mm -hmm. what can they expect? Because you said cooking. Are you also going to be doing, like, makeup videos or reviews or whatnot? I think that's what people expect from me because mm. that's what, you know, that's what I do. Yeah. Um, I do feel like I, I will do things, but it yeah. won't be like a makeup tutorial. It'll be more like tips and tricks, you know? Yeah. Um, you know, my skincare um, routine and things like that, or what I do um, for, I have hooded eyes, how I, you know, how I do eyeshadow on a hooded eye, because um, I know a lot of other people struggle with that. So it'll be things like very specific makeup Nuance. tips. Yeah, yeah. but the, the channel in general, um, I want it to be more of a lifestyle thing. When I first had my YouTube, that's why I say relaunch. I'm gonna relaunch the channel, but when I first had it, it was all makeup and cooking. Okay. So I want to do, you know, my DIYs. I'm, yeah. I'm a creative, so I, I make a lot of my home decor. Um, so things like that. And then the cooking. I'll be cooking food from different cultures and things of that nature. So yeah. it's going to be fun. You're taking all opportunities right now. Is that No. Right? Okay, I no. just turned one down. Okay, okay. So I did. Boom. So this doesn't make sense. Okay, mm -hmm. boom. So when you are not getting called for a job and to be on set, mm -hmm. and you're like, hey, my phone's on do not disturb. Like, mm -hmm. what are you typically doing with your time? Oh, I'm a big self-care taker. Yeah. Yeah, I take care of myself so much. So I grew up an only child, so it's always just me anyway. And, you know, I don't have any children and I'm single. So it's really, it's really all about me. And I think that, <laughs> um, I think that, yes, right. it's, it's about me. <laughs> but um, I think that that's important for anyone at any stage in their life. You always, you can't lose who you are in taking care of yourself. Self-care is so important. So um, you will find me meditating. Okay. You will find me at the spa. Okay. Um, <laughs> Um, you will find me getting my nails done, things like that, and reading. Um, yeah. Lots of like, doing crafts, painting, yeah. paintings that no one will ever see. Um, just my own personal things that make me feel good. We can't um, get a yeah. past exclusive. 
Of a painting? Yeah. I mean, I could show you guys, but I have paintings in my Ooh. phone. I like to organize. I, I keep a very, very organized home. Um, yeah, those are things. You want to see your painting? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I have, where that phone at? Yeah, I paint. It's so many um, past exclusive. Show to the camera. Show to the camera? Okay. Yeah. Let me see. Um, well, all the ones in this album I have. Because um, that's your first love. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. You know I'm saying. I have one moment. here that I did of Amy Winehouse. Um, that's. Oh my goodness. It's a black and white painting. Y'all, it's Amy Winehouse, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta show that one. Okay. Show that oh my goodness, y'all. It's Amy Winehouse, y'all. Yeah. Yeah, I did that one years ago. Um, but thank you so much. Um, and then I have um, the late and great Gerald Levert. I actually painted this one for his daughter as a birthday gift. Oh my goodness. And so are you still selling works? No, um, right, I don't. Like, these are passion projects. Like I just, um, slide that up girl. <laughs> um, these are passion projects. Like I said, she's a really good friend of mine. So I painted that for her for her birthday one year. Um, the Amy Winehouse, I did that for a friend as well. Um, I paint murals and things on, um, um, actually, the actress that got me into this industry, Raven Goodwin, I painted her daughter's nursery. Um, oh I did. I have goodness. a picture of that too. It's hold on. I did like wildflowers and everything on her daughter's nursery. Yeah. I want one. <laughs> what a baby? No, 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 yeah, I enjoy doing stuff like that. Yeah. So how do you, where do you go to get gigs? Like, or is it all like word of mouth? Really and truly, it's, um, it's not just about who you know, it's about who knows you. Okay. Um, and that's why I say you have to do the job you ride for because that's what people are going to notice that you, yeah. that is, if that what you did. And that's what, um, a lot of the times, Bad news spreads faster than good news. Yeah. So you have to double up the good news. Yeah. Um, and I don't mean oversell yourself. I literally mean just do what you're supposed to do. Because a lot of times if you, um, if even when I, I'm in a position to, you know, bring on day players on the project that I'm currently on now. Uh -oh. and Is that what you said? Bring on day players. Yes. I'm in a position Students. to do that. So, you know, you know, I love giving, <laughs> um, you know, extending opportunities. But um, one thing that I don't want anyone who's coming to work for us to do is to yeah. oversell themselves and tell me everything that they did. Oh, I did this and that, da, 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 da. I don't need to know that because if you did all those things, which is your job anyway, I'm gonna know, I'll see that you did it. Yeah. And those that, that stands out to me the most, that you know, you're not trying so hard to do that. Um, so it's really about who knows you and who notices you. Um, it, it took me a while to get to a point where people were calling me and I wasn't having to send out text messages and say in emails saying I'm available. But that's, that is what we do when we're yeah. out of work. We, you, you know, it's protocol to just email the department heads or people who typically department head projects and say, hi, just letting you know I'm available, blah, blah, blah. Here's my resume. Send, you know, and okay. then, you know, eventually if they, most of them will ask, you know, other people about you. Yeah. That's why your reputation is so important. Um, how you uphold yourself um, in, in your workspace is so important because people will ask about you. And when you say your resume, is your resume like a portfolio of faces or is your resume, no, like this is where I've worked and where I've kind of Trained so, people I've worked with. It's, it's so it's so confusing because there's no blueprint for a makeup artist and okay. hairstylist as far as resumes are concerned, um, especially because there's so many different um, different avenues that a makeup artist could be. Someone could specialize in wedding makeup. Someone could do a lot of um, editorial magazine shoots and things. Gotcha. But I do TV and film. There's literally no blueprint for our resume. So you have to. Well, we we literally look at each other's resumes. <laughs> and say, okay, well she she did this this layout on her, so maybe I should I should switch this up on mine. So for me right now, I have. I do have a PDF file that I have a lot of my work and it shows male grooming in there. It shows some natural uh, makeup. It shows um, a couple of little effects things yeah. and just the, the basics as well. And then um, I will also attach my resume, which it will, it has references. References are the most important, honestly. It really is because okay. really with TV and film, the resume, they can look on IMDb. 
and and see what you did, you know. And that's really that's <laughs> that's the valid thing right there. It's a valid source um, to find out what you've done. But um, it's really the references. They're gonna call the last producers you worked with. They're gonna call the last department heads you worked with. Um, if they um, see one of their because these producers they all know each other. If they see one of their people on there that you worked for, they're gonna call and say, yeah. well, what did you think of this person? Well, I got this project coming up. Do you think she'd be good for this? And that's where that reputation comes in. You know, you have to keep, you know, stay in good standing with people um, because it's not, it's not just the skills. It's also about um, how you interact with people and how people, you know, take you and how you respond to them. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's a lot. 